What's up guys, it's Btown360 and we're back with some more of The Walking Dead. So, when we left off, we watched that tape and we gotta go and we're trying to find out a key code to the medical cabinet, but that, but we don't know what the key code is. Tried watching the tape and it didn't help us, so we gotta go find that other, that one doctor that Molly threw off the building when we were looking for the battery. I can turn down my volume a little bit. Good. I think it was this way, I believe. I remember the doc, that zombie still being alive. So, I I don't know if you guys remember that, but if you go watch the video again, you can see him moving when we go to climb underneath the great thing. Because that's giant ass storm of zombies coming at us. So we did what we did. Don't judge. Hopefully there's no zombies there anymore, because we probably barely have any ammo left. Whoa. Hey, 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 Get down, bitch. Oh. Alright, just random ass TV falling. That's cool. I told you that zombie was still alive. She's like, bitch. Get, get back here, bitch. I'm gonna fuck your shit, man. Stomp the zombie. Gears of War style, man. He's still gonna be alive. I just It's just one of these games where that would happen. Maybe. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit. Time to go. <laughs> no shit. How... How do we get out, though? Like, riddle me that. Can't climb over the fence. Trying to get over it to the auto shop, but we can... Oh, open bloody locker. Sure. Oh no way! The tape safe combination has got to be on one of these. All right, well that was helpful. I just looked at the random. <laughs> I just looked at the random freaking thing and looked like I and it said I could open it. So I was like YOLO and opened it. Don't worry, I, I just I you, found you two know, more YOLO. tapes. One of them is dated October tenth. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Okay, I'll shut up for this. You guys just listen. Shh. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again, but for now, today, we have to do this. Watch the... That's how it all went to shit. Oh dear. Lol. Just kidding. Shh. Don't worry. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. Awesome. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. 
This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Alright, well, I guess we're watching this one, too. Let's go to the tape. Or the camera, I guess. Tape. <laughs> what? <sighs> Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, shit. <laughs> all right, guess we're leaving now. I'm probably gonna be recording like all night. Not like this, just this one video in a row, but most likely a bunch of videos. Hopefully we can finish this one, or this episode anyways. And get on to number five, because I really want to get this stuff done. Oh, hey Molly. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll okay. take that battery now. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Okay, I almost had to punch her in the face. Here you go. We'll just put that in a back pocket. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything system. was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it. I don't care. Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. It's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Oh, Jesus! Shit! Ben. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. What the fuck are you doing out here? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Ah, shit! Ben, you're done. I'm gonna kick your ass. Ah, 
She has a tank with that thing, seriously. Lee! Shoot this fucker! Thanks. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. <laughs> what? She's got a more high caliber handgun than he does. What a bitch. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault. All my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kitty! Lay off, man! Ben didn't mean for any of this to happen! It was all just a mistake! I don't give a fuck, you little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got them both fucking killed! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What Damn about straight. the rest of us? Don't we get a second? <laughs> Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! Alrighty then. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on! There's gotta be a way out down here! <laughs> Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! Oh, I'm gonna have to do this.
Come on. God damn it. Come on. Because you know the shotgun just happens to have this much ammo. Find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Alrighty then. Yeah, come on, let's go! Straight man. I ain't no bitch. Oh my god, that was intense. Krista? Everything okay? Oh me! Hold on. Is he dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Uh, hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. I feel like I could use some. Good. Very good, good sir. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, Kenny, with you don't a little have to luck, complete you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, 
It's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk that to deep, me man. I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Jerk off. I ain't leaving her alone. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. So that's it? After all we've been through, you, you're you just gonna leave? Yeah, I figured you don't owe me anything. I got what I wanted in Crawford, and I never did like the water. Where will you go? I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. What do you want me to tell the others? Tell them whatever you want. I'm not real big on goodbyes. Tell Clementine she's going to be okay. You've got a good one there. She reminds me of me. So she's gonna grow up to be a parkour badass that beat the shit out of Dr. Zombies? That's cool. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's getting to feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. <laughs> hey there. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Don't cry. <laughs> I think that's the end. Uh, not yet. <sighs> Clementine?
Clementine? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, God. Uh oh. Spaghettios. Jesus. How did I know? Chop off his hand. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's a walker's. Fucker jumped me from behind. So where's Clementine? Clementine's gone. I found her hat and her radio on the ground out here. That's all I found. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? Lee, I'm sorry. We can't. It's too risky for us. And I have to put him first. He's not well enough to go off on some rescue mission. Krista, I'm fine. I can... Ah. He's just not up to it, Lee. And I'm not leaving him again. I really am sorry. I hope you find her. But you're gonna have to do it without us. I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man, but I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kitty, man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help, please. Lee... I know you think you and me might have been on the same page a few times lately, but the way I see it, you've never really had my back. Right from the beginning, you were never looking out for me and mine. Not when it mattered. So pardon me if I'm not bending over backwards to help you and yours now. What about you, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Can't make that decision for you, Ben. You have to decide for yourself. You've been good to me, Lee. Even when it's not been easy. Whatever I can do to help, you can count on me. Guess it's just you and me. We should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Good luck. Yeah, to both of you. Bring Clementine back safe. We'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure we can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. 
Come on, kid. Let's go. Where the hell are they? This is where you found them before? Uh-huh. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Son of a bitch! Where have you taken her? This is Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Biggest troll ever. Let's see our stats, shall we? Uh, did you kill the boy in the attic? You and 24% of the players did not kill him. Did you lie or threaten Vernon? You and 66% of the players were rational and honest. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? You and 74% of the players brought her. Did you let Ben fall to his death? You and 67 players pulled him up. Did you reveal the bite to the group? You and 19% of players hide the bite. Oh. Oh well. Alright, well, guys, that was episode 4, so I hope you guys enjoyed. We're gonna start episode 5 right away. So, that would be literally the next upload. Um, if you guys. Tell me what you guys want to see again for the next Let's Play. I'm most likely doing Dishonored. So, yeah, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys later. Peace out.